Welcome to Family Product Reviews. If you are new here support us by subscribing. Today we will be reviewing the Maybelline New York Cover Stick Concealer, Green 195, 0.16 ounce. Simply dab some of this on the back of your hand, dab the other product, and blend until it's the right shade. If you don't have dark circles, and don't need to cover anything too dark it should work in a pinch. Now, on top of broken electronics, stained duvet covers, bizarrely fitted sheets, buyers have to contend with melted cosmetics. Color is great, but the makeup is broken off all the way down to bottom. It is hard to apply to the actual area where it is needed, and seems only to want to cover, and stick to unblemished skin. The good thing about this concealer is that it's extremely affordable, and the yellow really does help neutralize the appearance of blue, and purple veins under the eyes. The bad news is that it appears cakey when applied under powdered mineral makeup, giving a chalk-like appearance. With other forms of makeup, it might not blend as well as you would like. It's okay however it's very light coverage, so if you're looking for medium, or full coverage look elsewhere. They don't give very much product, I've had mine for a month, and it's almost gone. Okay, a green concealer is supposed to help hide red spots, right? So, doesn't work. I've tried expensive brands for the perfect highlighter to contour with, and always come back to this product. It works great, blends easily, and lasts during the day without cracking, or looking worn off. These Maybelline cover sticks smelled funny, or bad, like they were very old, or had bad ingredients in them. This really helps to cover up the problem reddish areas, that a skin tone concealer wouldn't. It's supposed to fix the redness spots, but it's quite the red, and leaves a green area, even if you put a skin color above it appears. This is a nice feeling formula that is easy to apply, and works well to lighten dark under eye circles prior to putting on foundation. The product was broken at the base of the concealer stick, which made it hard to apply. It is more of an off-white than a white, and it doesn't set very well to cover dark spots. However, the green concealer works well for correcting redness if you blend well with a sponge, and a well-moisturized face. However good quality for the price, and works well as an everyday concealer. This product lasts many hours, and is best for hiding purple circles under the eyes on people with fair skin. Too green. Even putting a little on it was tough to not make me look sick. Also, ivory is a, a great shade for very pale skin not orange, or we were at all pretty neutral to slightly yellow in tone. This probably works even better for women who can then put makeup over the green concealer. If not right on top of it, it clumps up in corner of the eye. The color is bright so you have to put on a darker foundation so you won't look bright. It is easy to contour, comes in a few good shades, and is inexpensive compared to other options. Much better more control than tube of green cream for coverage disguise of red spots, no matter what age. Dot. Before you buy the expensive brand save yourself some money, and a trip to the department store, and try these cover sticks. It does a good job of hiding your circles, but only if they aren't too dark. It does cover up red spots, but it makes your skin look extremely dry flaky after a while. It's really nice. It is a lighter, sheerer formula than the Max Factor which is great for hot, summer days, especially. I've researched, and tried a ton of BB creams, under eye concealers, under eye creams, primers, foundations, etc. The yellow doesn't blend very well, and it is sort of dry so it doesn't glide on easily. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe and leave your comments below.